What's up everybody, it's Ryan Donnelly from FreeFromHell.com and today I want to talk about living in the present moment. Okay? I want to talk about this in a way that people will be able to relate to it. So I'm going to shoot out some examples and I want you guys to, hopefully you can grasp one of them at least. Now let's say a week from this moment, this moment right now, that you're watching me. You have to go report for jury duty. You have to perform your social service as a citizen in your township. And you are dreading going to jury duty because you're afraid that you're going to get picked because you're an outstanding juror. I mean, you're like top of the line listener because you're listening to me right now. You probably would be hands down the best juror. So you're scared. Because you don't want to miss out on work and all that good stuff. So automatically you're thinking about a week in advance. You're thinking, man, I'm really dreading going to jury duty. My mother-in-law is coming into town and I got to I gotta entertain her while my boyfriend or husband is out. Uh, the kids have this going on in two days. You know what I'm saying? So like you're you're really putting a lot of stress on yourself for stuff that's not even happening. Alright? Now, this is a very odd way of looking at life for some people. But for me it makes total sense. It might be a little morbid. You are never given any promises that you're gonna live after this exact moment. So this breath that you're taking in, maybe your last. That's just the way it is. No one's promised any time on this planet. So, if that's the way you really think, okay, which I don't think anybody can argue with me and tell me that you're guaranteed longer on this planet than me. I mean, I don't know how you would know that, because a plane could fall from the sky right now and land on top of me while I'm in my home. You never know. So unless you have ESP or psychic visions and you can see into the future and know exactly when you are going to die, which I don't believe many people do, if at all possible, then how are you going to bring yourself down and stress yourself out about something that hasn't even happened yet? Okay? So if you would put all of your energy into this exact moment, that you have on this planet, right this second, this breath, and put 100% of your focus on this moment, you're not going to be stressed. What do you have to be stressed about? You're alive. Smile. Enjoy yourself. When that comes down the road, if it ever does, because you might not make it to see your mother-in-law, morbid, but true. Why stress about it? Because when it gets to that day, in that moment, put a smile on your face and go about your day the best way possible. There's no point of stressing about something that you have no control over. You have no control over the future. And in the same respect, why do people live their lives in their past? Okay, say you did something terrible, like me for instance, I did horrible things when I was a drug addict. When I was using, I did terrible things to other people, people that cared about me. If I wanted to, I could live every day from this moment forward thinking about what I did in my past and reliving it over and over again and not letting myself heal. Because we are the worst, we're the only only animals on this planet that do that. We rehash what we did over and over again, and we just keep judging ourselves and punishing ourselves over and over and over again. And what good does it do you? None. Because when you're thinking about your past, what are you disrupting right now? You're thinking, oh yeah, when I did that back then, that was so bad, but... What are you doing right now? Nothing. You're thinking about something that doesn't exist anymore. So you're actually disrupting your life in the present moment. The only moment you have. 
the past is gone. It does not exist. Now, people will say, well, if you don't remember where you came from, you're not going to know where you're going. True. I believe in that. I mean, I look back on some things sometimes and say, quickly I think about it. Yeah, I could do this differently because I remember when I put my hand in a bag of pills and ate them, I was slowly on my way of destroying people around me and killing myself. So I don't want to do that because I know where, where that was. But if you relive it over and over again and never get over that hump, you're going to be sick. You're going to make yourself sick. And at the same time, people will, people will say, well, how do you set goals for the future if you don't look into the future? That's a good question. But the truth of the matter is if you put 100% of your being in this exact moment, that step will lead to another step, to another step, and you're always doing your best in this moment. You're gonna end up being successful at every whatever you want to do. So you can set goals. You could quickly say, "All right, I want to be a doctor one day," but right now, what am I doing? to become a doctor? Am I studying in this moment or am I out partying with my friends? Am I sitting home concentrating on the small things? The little things build up to the big things. So this moment right now, what are you doing to make your life better? What are you doing right now? The only thing I can think of doing right now is smiling. That's it. Okay, everybody. This was one of my favorite topics. I could talk about this for hours with people and with acquaintances and friends. This is one of the topics I always bring up because I, I see pain in people's eyes all the time. And then you hear and just overhearing conversations about people complaining about things that are happening not even right now, like in the future, and it doesn't exist yet. So I have to drop two cents every once in a while and just be like, listen, man, like what's going on right like now? Okay, everybody, that's all I got for today. And tomorrow I'm going to put up a new video. Check Free From Hell for new blog posts. Keep sending me emails at ryan at freefromhell.com, supporting everything that's going on. I mean, there's a lot of stuff happening that I can't speak about, so to say, right now, but a lot of good things are happening because of you, you guys, the viewers, are spreading the word. I mean, I have emails coming in from families telling me that it's helping them through tough times of addiction, okay? We're doing it, people. Just keep spreading the word and more lives will be touched, all right? So check back with me tomorrow. You guys have a good one.